You can't stop the train. But you can slow it. Maintaining youth and health is a simple formula of combining the right exercises with a consistent schedule. Nothing complicated and nothing new. And if you really want to mess with father time, combine the following exercises with clean eating and you'll really put them into slow motion. Okay, let's get into it. The first exercise is the most effective of all exercises, the squat. Why? Because it does so much in one move. It hits your quads and hamstrings, your glutes and calves, your hip flexors and stabilizer muscles, your core and lower back, your balance, and if you do it intensely, your lungs from the heavy breathing. So what exactly makes the squat anti-aging? Simple, movement. As you age, you want agility and movement. Even if you're not playing sports or even working on a treadmill, you want mobility until your end days. All the proof you need is looking at someone who doesn't have it. The squat is a very basic move, so let's look at the important things to remember when doing a squat, some terrific variations, and a general scheduling. Now, foot positioning is the easiest way to mix up the squat and hit all the areas of your body we just mentioned. One thing to always, always keep in mind is balance. In some ways, the squat is 90% balance and 10% movement, so when you move your legs wide, don't go too wide. When your legs are in close, like when you're on a pair of skis, Make sure you're not about to fall over sideways or fall forward. One helpful tip is to look slightly upward. Again, not skyward such that you lose balance, but slightly upward that you naturally keep your shoulders back and your spine engaged. There are two great variations. The first is the weight-free jump squat. Plyometrics can be awesome addition to any routine and even takes the place of weighted squats altogether. Just be very conscious when leaving the ground. Be sure you're in jumping shape, knees, hips, etc., and be on flat ground and wear good shoes. Common sense. But this move will engage different parts of your muscle structure and add another level of fitness and strength. The second is the wall squat. This is simply isometrics and is very easy to do. Easy, but insanely hard after a short period of time. The move is to simply put your back against a wall and lower your hips down to 90 degrees and hold. Hold as long as you can. Aim for 30 seconds, go as long as you dare. You can even move up a bit when the shaking is unbearable, then move back down to 90 and hold. This one will get you. And just like jump squats, it hits your legs a little bit differently. Do squats once a week. If you respond and recover well, add in another day. If you're really sore, spread it out. But aim for once a week. Important note here, if you ever feel any pain, especially in your hamstrings, Stop the workout immediately. You will be extra sore. Recover fully, then go again after. Number two is the down dog stretch. Wait, wait, this is a stretch? Yes, this is a stretch. It's the flip side of the squat. When we are talking about anti-aging and full health and vitality, tight muscles are the enemy. Stretching is crucial. And this stretch in particular is so important for guys because it's an all-in-one move. It literally targets your tightest areas, lower back, upper back, upper shoulders, neck, hamstrings, and calves. It's the mother of all stretches. So there are a couple of tips that will help you get the most out of the down dog stretch. The first tip is to start from a standing position. This does a couple of things. It gives your body time to relax and prepare for the stretch, and it enables you to achieve more range of motion with each interval. You don't have to stand between every stretch, but do it the first three times at least. The second tip is to keep your back and neck as straight as possible. The most natural position is to let your head drop towards the floor. But if you keep it in a straight line with your back, you get a better stretch of your upper shoulders and even your neck. Sounds counterintuitive, but when you're in that position, try it. You'll see what we mean. The last tip is to breathe, and in particular, exhale as long as possible. Your muscles release on the exhale. You will notice that your heels will start to move towards the floor when you exhale, your shoulders will deepen in the bend, and your hamstrings will release. You only need a handful of down dog moves to feel its effects. Move to plank, then back to down dog. After about six or eight of these, your heels will touch, your body is loose, and you will feel terrific. All right, now third is the mighty push-up. This is anti-aging because it's the most effective compound push move for the upper body. You obviously work the chest, but also the shoulders, the triceps, the hands and forearms. And if you keep your body form, your core as well. Much like the squat, hand position is the best variation, but let's look at some push-up tips first. The first tip is range of motion. 
Don't cheat yourself and reach for a higher number by shallow depth range of motion. We've all seen it. Instead, work the move from the highest point deliberately to the lowest point and back up. Own the fact that your number may not be where you want it and then make that number your goal. The second tip is a strip set. Work your push-ups to failure. If the number is not where you want it, do another set from your knees to failure. It's also good to do this when you're doing variations. You don't have to go 100% when adding in variety. Work on the form from your knees, then move to your toes. All right, for variations, move your hands. Add in wide and narrow to the normal push-up. You can also put your feet up on a chair for more emphasis to your upper chest and shoulders. And another great variation is to add in plyo. A plyo push-up is very hard, but just like squats, works a different part of your muscles due to the intensity of the move. The fourth move is to add in a pull move. Anti-aging is about having balance in your physique. We target the push muscles with the push-up, now we target the pull muscles. This will obviously be your back, mostly the lats and trap muscles. But when we have compound exercises, we also engage the biceps, the hands, and the forearms. Pull moves are incredibly powerful for posture. And the most powerful pull exercise is the pull-up. But the pull-up is extremely hard for many guys. If you are not there, use the pull-down machine if you're at a gym. Or get yourself a set of exercise bands and attach them to a door jam to mimic the move. Now, a couple of pull-up tips. First, give yourself some help. Use a chair to take some of the weight off, especially if your muscles are not developed or if you're carrying around some extra pounds. If you like, there is also a pull-up assist band and they are very good and achieve the same result. Second, don't go behind your back, either with the pull-up or with the pull-down lap machine. Going behind your neck is not beneficial at all and can actually lead to injury. Aim for your chin above the pull-up bar or pull the bar down towards your chest. Now, alternatively to the pull-up, you can do a row move, either a seated row on a machine or one with dumbbells in a chair. Both are very effective and can target the center back and your upper rear shoulders. Your back muscles are very strong and you can increase the weight quite a bit. Focus on range of motion and try not to kip or move your body to help you lift the weight. Finally, fifth is your core. If we want long-term health and vitality, we must optimize the connection between your upper and lower body. We're not simply talking about a six pack, rather 360 degrees of your midsection. This gives you ultimate mobility and flexibility. So there really can't be a single move that targets all of your core. You actually have to combine moves. So let's look at those areas. First, obviously, are your abs. Choose the ab exercise that you hate, the one that's the hardest. That is where you will get the most benefit. Second is your back. One of the best moves here is the Superman. Lie down flat on your stomach, lift both arms and legs skyward. Arch your back in the middle and hold. This will feel awkward and hard, but repeat as much as you can. And finally, one that is the most overlooked, the obliques. The oblique crunch is quite effective, just like a regular crunch, but you're on your side at about a 45 degree angle and crunch upward trying to touch your elbow to your thigh. Do these five key moves, add in some clean eating and slow track father time check out this video for more tips and we will see you there